We're here at the In the Garage Media Tech Center and we're checking out this new product from Grand Telly Motorsports. It's their on-car brake flaring tool. Now this tool is good for 3 16 and quarter inch brake lines. It'll do anything from uh, like a mild steel or a Nikop hard line, stainless steel, no problem. Uh, and this is a double flaring tool. This is an, it makes the inverted flares found on most of the uh, vintage vehicles that we deal with. And what's neat about this tool is you can see it's very compact, makes it super handy for doing a flare on a car. Let's say you've got brake lines that are already installed, but you got a damaged line uh, and you want to go ahead and cut it shorter and reflare it. And maybe you're going to put a union in there. A lot of the brake flaring tools that you'll find on the market are tough to do in a tight spot like this, but this little guy, it's really small. You can even take this handle out and put it in a vise if you wanted to do it off the car, which is kind of nice, makes it unique. So as you can see, it's pretty tiny. It takes up hardly any space. We're going to show you how to use this and where to buy it. So as you can see, we've already deburred our line. We've deburred the inside and the outside. That's super important to uh, make sure you get a nice flare. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do, take the little granitelli in-car flaring tool. I'm going to go into 3 16 That's what size uh, line we're using. I'm going to push it all the way through. Then we got this guy right here. This sets our depth. What you want to do is you want to push your line in until it hits that depth gauge. That's going to set the depth of the line. At that point, you want to tighten these three screws down. Just snug. You don't got to be a gorilla about it. Then we're going to pull our little depth bung out. We're going to run our, grab our 3 16 die. Op 1, that's the first one. We need to go get a wrench. We're going to go ahead and put the die in for the first operation. And once it's in there, we just crank it until it bottoms out. Right there. And as you can see, that went all the way down. And now we take our die, we flip it around. You can see that says op one. Now we're on op two. That little bit of silver is just some anti seize I put on there just to help it move around easily. Help fold over the metal and uh, create our flare. Again, I'm going to crank this over until it's bottomed out. Again, you don't have to be a gorilla. See how short my. I'm using a shorty. Ratchet. It doesn't take a whole bunch of doesn't take a whole bunch of uh, leverage to make the flares happen. Then I'm going to go ahead and loosen the body on the tool. There you go. There's our flare. Double inverted flare. Made super easy. There's no cracking. So if you could use one of these cool little tools on your project, check out granatellimotorsports.com. It's the in-car flaring tool. And for more tech stories like this, check out classictruckperformance.com.